everybody so we're gonna do a quick um, look at the, the uh, hyper tough uh, rail mount system I already mounted it so it's just gonna be a look at it and we're gonna talk about it so please stick around check out the video and I'll see you guys there thank you for watching Still waiting on a um, the insurance to contact me back uh, so I can get the wall started. But um, so here is the hyper tough rail mount system um, you can get at Walmart. Um, so I bought the kit which came with this rail, these two hooks right here, and it came with two of these smaller hooks this hook at the end with the broom on it this single one and all of these hooks I bought um, separately so I bought the kit which was like 16 it came with a rail two long hooks two short hooks and then I bought a single rail by itself for five dollars and then I bought all of these extras for five dollars so I put the broom on this one this is just the um, barn broom ID or shop broom whatever uh, I do need to clean up some more of this stuff um, it's all my automotive stuff oils you know two-stroke oil gasoline um, brake fluid transmission fluid um, you know your common you know brake clean liquid wrench starter fluid stuff like that this one over here has actually all of the parts that i removed from the ford there's the y pipe for the ford with its new o2 sensors um the fan shroud um yeah it needs a little bit cleaning here and there there's a bunch of unused plano containers i did you guys probably saw the video for that already um, oil cans, air mover, a couple computer towers, you know, it's, I need to start throwing these boxes away, um, but these, I keep the boxes for all the tools I buy for, I think it's like six months and then I finally toss them, um, but a bunch of storage containers up there, um, all of these containers have stuff in them, um, winter clothing stuff like that uh, my two creepers right there is a smaller ladder um, here's an aluminum ladder kind of step ladder and then the tough built saw horses are right here um, craftsman uh, bar clamp with some uh, spray bottles empty spray bottles um, I'll be doing a project soon where this extension cord that's right here, it's actually plugged in. It's plugged into that wall right there. And I'm going to be digging a trench from here all the way straight to that pillar. We're going to get some um, electrical conduit. We're going to bury, I, at the moment, I'm just going to uh, buy an expensive extension cord. Um, probably a rigid extension for cord from Home Depot. We're gonna put the extension cord in the conduit. We're gonna run it and up to the corner pillar. We're gonna run the conduit up the pillar and down and then over and we're gonna drop it out towards the plug. I'm also gonna be replacing that um, 120 volt plug with a 20 amp plug. The problem with this plug over here is one of them is clogged been out in the weather so long 
that you can't you can't access that one the ground strap for this one so this plugs pretty bad um, but it'll get replaced when I put the conduit up on these pillars we're gonna run the conduit down then we're gonna drop it into the ground and then we're gonna run it under the bar shop and um, gonna drill a hole right here and we're gonna pull it up in and then just run it to these one of these bars because this bar the yellow cord right here actually runs down and then it ties up and it runs over to actually run this plug right here um, I don't think I'm gonna be putting any insulation in this it's you know when I get everything cleaned up and everything the shop vac goes right there the one that was in the house that was being used um, but get everything cleaned up I'm gonna end up putting a couple workbenches in here and this is going to be a workshop um, we'll be doing woodwork in here We're gonna be doing all, um, engine rebuilding and stuff in here um, but at the moment it's just basically storage um, but get back to the the rail system I actually have it tacked with two three and a half inch screws one they're all in the center so if I remove this one you can see right there is one there and one here I got two on each um, of these two by fours it's holding pretty well these um, steel combi system shafts are a lot thicker than a normal broom and it, it it holds them pretty well I haven't had any issues with it I have them staggered so the weed eater attachment is a little lower as you can tell from the top there's the combi system unit all I did was buy the the weed eater hook um, for this system it seems to be working out pretty well sorry I didn't film mounting it and everything like that um, I do have pretty close to the even amount of hang off on each side um, as you can tell on this side as well it's pretty close amount of hang off um, it's level it's slightly off um, it's not as level as I'd want it to be but it moved when I was drilling it you know it kind of is what it is it's it's only off by like a third of a degree it's not off a lot so um, it should be fine um, and then this is the little strap that came with my unit um, it was just hanging on one of the hooks I bought extra hooks for a reason I know that I'm gonna get more of these attachments in the future which is why I bought some more of the there's two rubber uh, broom holders. They're called broom holders, but you could you, anything that's cylindrical could be put on them as long as they'll fit in the hole. Um, but s uh, at the moment, it's working pretty well. Um, it's been up for about two or three weeks now. Um, not any issues with that. Um, it gets kind of dusty in here. I did already set it up for storage, so there's no gas or anything in it. Um, oh, that's all the hoses and the air intake box for the board. But uh, hopefully, I can get some of this cleaned up soon. I am. This is just some updates. That white shed right there is falling apart um, pretty bad. And there's some stuff in here. Uh, some small things in here like Christmas decorations stuff like that but the door is not really attached to the slide anymore this um, we got a windstorm a few weeks ago and then this right here it's uh it's not attached anymore it's falling apart so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick me up um, a little bit smaller unit than that one probably a, a 10 by 10 or maybe maybe I'll just get another 10 by 20 I don't know and we're going to put it against this wall right here um, and it's 
going to be facing this barn right here. Um, and what I'm going to do is when I get that one set up in the yard, everything that's storage related in this, in my shop, and everything that's in this is going to go in that one, and then that's going to revert to as a shop because removing all the storage items in there, all the totes with all the stuff in it, clothing and everything, if that's moved out of that one and into this one, then technically that one can be used as a shop. I'm also thinking on um, that light right there, it's conduited over here, and there's, there's an outlet here, and a plug, a light switch. There's also, an outlet here because this used to go to the pole there used to be a giant pole here um, I'm thinking of running conduit some more metal conduit out of this corner of the light running some more over here and then putting a spotlight at the corner either right here or at that corner of that beam putting another one of those spotlights um, but, you know, just giving you guys a rundown, this is not just going to be about the, the hyper tough rail mount, um, there's, you know, it's going to be generalized information of what could be coming up on the channel in the future. You know, I have like my, uh, kids, uh, stroller and everything in here and all this stuff that shouldn't be in here could go in that barn whenever I get that. I, I think I might just put another 10 by 20 up to be honest with you. Um, no. Well, I guess we'll see. 10 by 20, this 10 by 20 was about 20 grand to build. Um, where you can go to Home Depot, you get a, a tough shed. Um, Cause this is a tough shed. Tough shed, um, but I told them what I wanted, and then I ended up building it. Um, but the you can get a ten by ten, and even a six by ten at uh, Home Depot made by Tough Shed for like two twenty five hundred three grand. You know. Who knows? I, I, I'm thinking about it because as much tools and things that I buy, and as um, it would be nice to have an extra space to put other things. Um, so I guess it wouldn't be a bad idea to, to put another 10 by 20 in the yard. Um, I put it over there in that corner by that shed and remove that shed. That shed that I just showed you was in the yard when I bought the house. Um, so it's it's been in this yard for 50, 60 something years, something like that. Um, as far as I know, it's been here since the house was built. It, it could have been put in 10, 20 years after the fact, I don't know. All I know is it's been here the entire time I've lived in this house. Um, But, all in all, it's working out well. I'll give you guys an update on the Hyper Tough rail mount system when I add more weight to it. Um, now we'll go from there. I might have to, I haven't mounted this rail yet, but I might have to move my creepers to a different spot. You know. It is what it is. I have my shovels and everything hanging on this wall right here. Uh, they're not hanging very straight. I just kind of eyeballed it when I put the hooks in, but you know, all my mechanics books right here on this shelf. You know. But uh, appreciate you guys watching. I kept this box for the Vulcan cart uh, because I wanted to use it as a uh, 
I've flipped the box over. I'm going to put that um, 20 ton shop press on it piece by piece. We're going to use the, the box to bring the pieces up so I can paint them at my height instead of bending over and painting them on the ground. So that's why that's in here. It's my wife's futon, which has got spare wood and stuff on it. There's wood back there. My hose reels for my compressor. Um, some extra extension cords. You know, so. And this extension cord I just repaired. I just soldered and everything. Because my dog decided to chew on it. Um, but yeah, here's the repair. I soldered all three um, cables, you know, ground, neutral, and hot, and uh, works again, so it'll do for now until I can buy another one. You know, at this time, you know, the tools to make that make me money and everything is a lot more important than a, an extension cord and, and putting it in the ground and conduing it and everything like that. Um, gotta make money to, to live and with all the COVID-19 crap going on, you know, who knows when uh, mechanics and uh, mechanic shops are gonna get shut down specifically to try to hope and stop the virus. So, you know, it's just a matter of time. You know, hopefully that a majority of us that are still working and everything hopefully that um, you guys get to stay open um, a lot of us are considered essential businesses especially mechanic shops um, I've noticed the when the COVID-19 got pretty bad in the last few weeks I've noticed a, a huge um, sir, amount of service calls for me for broke down rigs trying to deliver their loads. So it's, it's you know, it's getting pretty bad. Just you guys, everybody stay inside if you can. Um, if you can't, you gotta go get food or whatever. Just be safe. And uh, hopefully we'll all get through it. But uh, it's been 17 minutes. I don't want the video to be too long. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.